good morning guys and welcome back to the channel so today i wanted to show you guys like a makeup no makeup look that i've been doing um literally all my makeup is in this bag because i went back home so it might take some time for me to find anything but yeah i've been doing this makeup look and i think it literally takes like well, I'm not gonna say less than five minutes because my eyebrows are the only thing that like I take my time to make them quote unquote perfect. So it might take some time, but I wanted to show you guys how it's done. Hold on, let me find my eyebrow pencil and stuff. It's a mess. That's why I don't like using these bags. Most of the time, you spend searching. They're not fighting anything. Okay. Maybe first thing first, I gotta remove the moisturizer out of my eyebrow. Cause I just did my face and my skincare stuff. So I gotta remove that. And let me do the brows. I'm using the Maybelline. Is it Maybelline? What is this called? Uh, I say Maybelline. What in the Jesus Christ? Benefit brow pencil in the shade five, and we're just gonna brush the brows and fill them. And I usually start out with the bottom, do the line at the bottom, and then I fill it in. I usually don't do a line on top, but I don't know. We'll see what we do today. Okay, after doing that, then I blend. I don't apply product in the front, I just mash. You know. The front, brush it in. My next video, I'm going to show you guys how I um, clean my eyebrows and do it at home. Because I don't get my eyebrows done. <laughs> because I ain't got that much hair. And I don't want to, you know, have a tragic moment that ruined it. So, next video, I'm going to show you guys how I clean. And just, like, do my own brows at home. Easy. Free. I like the sound of that. So, let me do the other side. Same process. The number one secret to like brows is like you need a gigantic mirror in front of you. Like this ain't gonna cut it. The mirror I have been a mirror now because I can tell if they're even all the way. And I usually do my brows exactly in front of like a gigantic mirror. But you want to make sure that they're close enough. Because they're sisters and not twins. Like this one. This one is way bigger, but like I'm gonna clean it up and I'm gonna make it exactly this size, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter. My brows take the longest time because I want them to be like perfect. Cause brows like shape the face, so I feel like they should look pretty good. And then applying my concealer, LA Girl Pro in the shade Fawn. I used to use medium beige, and that thing would be highlighted for the gods. But when I want like a natural look, I just use fawn. Cause fawn is like exactly my shade. So.
Okay, this is the closest. Oh my god, it took me nine minutes to do all that. This is the closest it will get. Now that we're done with that, I still prime my face with the Milk Hydro Primer. I don't do anything crazy. Prime my face. I don't, mm, I, if I'm being honest, I don't try to cover any discoloration. I just use my Huda loose powder and just powder everywhere. Because lately, it's been hot AF. Like, for the past two days, it's been 100 degrees, but I'm just like, uh-uh. I need all the mattifying I can get. And I've been noticing that I've been like extremely oily faster. So I'm just like, uh-uh. Even powder the brows. Okay, now that we're done with that, we are going to contour slash bronze with this palette. This lighting is not the best because I can't really see in this mirror, but... Just the cheeks and then I apply this bronzer by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade mahogany I apply a little bit cuz I don't know I feel like this bad boy is strong okay now that we're done with that Blush Milani and apply a lot of brush. Okay, now that we're done with blush. I usually brush and I'm using the highlight in this palette. It's way more natural than the other one I have and I'm like, if you don't want anything blinding, just use a natural highlight to give you an inner glow, quote unquote. a little bit of highlight on the forehead and then I apply mascara let me blush my brows first mascara takes it to another level I need a new mascara because this one is dry. Like, I ha I don't know. I feel like I had it for like years. So I'm in desperate need of a new one. I don't know which one I'm going to buy though yet. Yeah, mascara's on. Let me add a little bit more highlight. That goes along with this. Okay, now that we're done with that, I usually line my lips with uh, BFF3 for the Colourpop.
okay and then apply fenty beauty gloss balm all on my lip and that's it and now i'm gonna set my face uh hold on i'm gonna set my face give me a second let me go find the settings so yeah this is this is the final look it's easy it's seamless it's beautiful and you look semi presentable in a shorter amount of time so today i'm going to make banana bread and i'm gonna film it so stick around yeah This is what we're using for the banana bread. We have cinnamon, salt, vanilla, pecan, uh, rolled oats, uh, um, maple syrup, and baking soda. And of course, bananas. This is as good as it'll get. First, we need to mash the bananas. And I'm using four very dark bananas. I went home and I left them. And now they're like this dark. And I can't eat them when they're this dark. Half of my face is cut off. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But let's mash them. We heat the oven to 350. The recipe will be down below because I usually don't measure things. But we're doing that today. And the thing I love about banana bread is the fact that it doesn't take a long time. I stand a good baking and that takes like three seconds. So, anything else? Mm -mm. I ain't doing it if it takes too long. And I'm only doing banana bread not because I'm craving or anything, but I gotta do something with these bananas. And I don't like like frozen bananas and smoothies. I like them to be fresh. Because I feel like the sweetness is gone the minute you freeze them. So, I can't use them for that. But, I can have some banana braid before I go to sleep every day. So, I'm using... Damn, this is a lot of bananas. I've made this recipe before. And I, I only use like one, um, two bananas. But today, we're doubling that. I don't know how that's going to go. And now we mash. I'm making the banana bread early because, like, tonight I have stuff to do. So I'm like, why not? And plus, my roommates are going to be there, and like, the house is going to be crowded and stuff. So I just want to do it when nobody's here and just have it ready. I usually warm mine up. Like, I warm it up when I'm about to eat it because I want it to be. Not soggy, what's the word? Moist? Delicious. Delicious. And I'm sorry about the angle. This is all I got. I can't come up with anything else. This is as good as it gets. It should look somewhat like this. This is gonna be so good. I'm so excited. I'm so this is the only thing I actually know how to bake. Because I always claim to be, I'm like, I'm not a baker. You know, I'm a chef. But baking is not my forte. It's a lot of mashing. Damn. My arms are getting tired. Because I don't want the lumps and bumps. Some people don't mind. But I do. Okay, next we're going to apply the wet stuff. We're applying vanilla and maple syrup. I'm using one teaspoon of vanilla because I'm making like a bigger portion and I like vanilla. Some people don't. But. And I also have a recipe. Let me see what they said. Yeah, one teaspoon of vanilla. 
going in. Okay. And then the maple syrup, we're using one cup of maple syrup. And one cup seems like a lot. Should they be one cup? One cup is too much. We're using half of a cup, because that's too much. I don't need it to be that sweet. Yummy. This is the perfect amount. Because some people like it to be extra sweet. I don't think it needs to be extra sweet. So half a cup is fine. And then, are we adding anything else? Now we just mix. And like this recipe calls for like oatmeal flour. I don't have that. And I didn't want to pay extra for some flour. So I just bought I just bought regular oatmeal and I'm just gonna mash it. Not mash it, I'm just gonna blend it. I just bought regular oatmeal and I'm just gonna blend it in the blender. And that will do the job. Hey, don't dirty my clothes, bro. Okay. You can't tell. But she's good and ready. Next, let's do the flour. Oatmeal flour. I'm using my blender. And I'm using a cup of rolled oats. But I think I'm gonna use one and a half cup. And this blender is not the best. She be struggling sometimes. So it might not be it might not be as soft. But a little texture and never kill nobody, so. And now we blend away. Okay, now that we're done with that, I'm going to apply a teaspoon of salt and baking powder and cinnamon all in this bad boy. We're starting off with the baking powder. One teaspoon. Let me verify. Yeah, one teaspoon of baking powder. I meant baking soda. <laughs> one teaspoon of baking soda. It's like baking powder, what the hell? Baking soda and the flour. And then the same thing with cinnamon and salt. The same thing with cinnamon. Cinnamon, I'm just gonna dump it in. To be honest, it ain't. It doesn't need to be measured unless you don't like cinnamon. I stand. What the hell? And I ran out of cinnamon. I didn't even know they have any more cinnamon. Well, that's embarrassing. Now I know. And nutmeg. Nutmeg takes it to the next level. My auntie, whenever she's baking, she usually use like fresh. I feel like nutmeg is strong. Should I use, I might not use a teaspoon. Let me use half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Cause she is strong. Okay, and the last thing is salt. And we're using half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. Salt like brings the flavor out. I didn't know that until I became a chef myself. <laughs> and now we blend again. I hate the fact that you can only see half of my head. Yeah. And now. We... And you know, I don't know why I always forget about the eggs. And then you need like two eggs. To crack them eggs and dump it in. Yum. Okay. And then you just mix it in. 
two cups. They use two cups of flour, and I only use, I feel like I'm gonna need, I use a half, one and a half cups of flour. I feel like I'm gonna need more. And then you just mix it. Mix it all together. Let me show you guys. It shouldn't be too watery, so I think I'm gonna add more. Um, yeah, I'm gonna add more flour in it to get it to the texture. Baking is all about trial and error. So, it is what it is. 